What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new playthrough. My name is Jorna, that's J-O-A-R-N-A. -A. As you can tell from the screen, it's finally here. The remastered edition of Resident Evil 4 is now out. Thank God, it couldn't come soon enough. Capcom is doing a big push this year, their 20th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. They re-released pretty much all of the Resident Evil games in some type of remastered capacity. Um, with the exception of Resident Evil 2 and 3, I don't recall seeing those. Um, probably because they never had like a re-remastered version. Resident Evil 1 had like, I think it's on like it's third or fourth iteration of a remastering. But Resident Evil 2 and 3 never got like the, the, the remastered or HD remastered version. I would sucks too because those are like probably the two best games um, when you had to use tank control. But Resident Evil 4 originally debuting on the GameCube and then shortly thereafter, I think it was about couple of months or a year after released on the PlayStation 2. Um, definitely one of the highlights of the Resident Evil franchise. Um, by far one of my, one of the most fun games I've ever played. Um, at least for the time. Um, like I said, I played this back when it was on PlayStation 2. I haven't played it in, man, it's probably got to be well over 10 years. Because uh, PlayStation 2, what, PlayStation 2's life cycle ended around 2004, 2005, I want to say. We're in 2016 now, so we're going to see uh, how good the remastered version is and how well it holds up, uh, you know, to the test of time, so to speak. Um, but enough talking, let's just dive right into this. Evil so yeah, like I said, they're doing a big, Capcom's doing a big push for the Resident Evil franchise. Um, obviously, Resident Evil 7 comes out in... Oh, we're just, well, I guess it doesn't really need to be subtitles if they're, just, if they're, if they're fucking putting the text up there. Um, yeah, for some reason, you can't turn on the subtitles until after you get into the game. That doesn't make any sense. But, uh, yeah, Capcom's doing a big push for the Resident Evil franchise, obviously. Like I said, it's the 20th anniversary of the, I believe, the first game, which came out in 96. And uh, they're getting ready for Resident Evil 7 to be released at the start of next year. Um, the box is actually have the box that I got actually has a sticker on it that says "Look out for Resident Evil 4 or Resident Evil 7" at, on uh, what, what, I think it was like 124 or something. I don't know. I threw a little cellophane wrap away. But so anyone that's been here for a while knows that we did playthroughs of Resident Evil 5, which I enjoyed, um, but it wasn't really they didn't do anything groundbreaking over Resident Evil 4 and then Resident Evil 6. Which again, they didn't do anything groundbreaking, and the story sucked. Not to say that Resident Evil 5 story Six was great. Years have passed since that horrendous incident. Six years later. Let me see. I want to see if I can turn on the subtitles real quick before any of the any of the real action gets rolling. I received special training in a uh, organization working under the Apparently, you can't pause the game. President. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Deep in thought, my emo haircut. Yes, a long way from home. These are like terrible accents. They all sound like Speedy Gonzales. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? Sure you boys didn't just the graphics are don't look fantastic. They look probably like on par with like a 360 or a PlayStation 3 game. Probably a little bit less. But I mean, the source material was obviously PlayStation 2, so whenever they do uh, a remastered version without rebuilding the entire engine, uh, there's gonna be uh, gonna be some challenges. But that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. It was right before I was to take on my Gotta take a piss. The president's daughter when she was abducted. She was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, you want to smoke, eh? Reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought the that the first it. job would have been a rescue mission? Uh-oh, someone's gonna get him. Ah, it's free. 
increasing. So all of our Let's fucking pinch it quick. Eh, must be my imagination. Yes, nothing would ever go wrong in a Resident Evil game. Sorry it took so long. There's all that Mountain Dew I've been drinking. So one of the things that I can't wait to do is that supposedly you can do the mercenary missions online for Resident Evil 4, which I don't think you could do in the GameCube slash PlayStation 2 version. Maybe the PlayStation 2 one you could. But to my knowledge, I don't believe the GameCube had an online compatibility. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Stay and watch that car. Okay, man. I don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. This is just like the worst freaking accents in the world. But then again, Resident Evil was never really known for its voice acting Jeez. abilities. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Hey. I'm gonna cut you so bad. You gonna wish I didn't cut you so bad. Leon, I hope you can hear me. Uh, what do you want, Hunnigan? I'll be your support on this mission. And every mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the Damn, Leon. Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> it would be nice if they like went back and remastered like the original Metal Gear Solid. I'll try to from, from like PlayStation on 1. I know they did it for I think Good. GameCube. Talk to you later. We on out. But they never really uh all right, I'm trying to get my control and bearings. Let me see. Can I pause? All right, let's see. Video setting. Why can't I turn subtitles on? That is so stupid. Wow, what kind? Of, why? That may be a tweet to Capcom. Why can't I turn on subtitles? That seems ridiculous. Um, Alright, so right stick is your camera, which, wow, that is jerky as fuck. And then this aims, that shoots, this is your knife. You can't move and shoot in this one. Uh, I do remember that if you shoot the birds, they drop money for some reason. So go figure that out. Uh, pap. I got 200 petas. I don't even know what difficulty I'm on, to be honest with you. Is there a... There is no... Like, game... It didn't... Because it didn't give me the option to, like... Adjust the difficulty. Yeah, they, these controls are very out of date. <laughs> I think somebody's in there. Let's do. I'm I'm still just I'm still baffled by the fact that you cannot turn on any type of subtitles. I'm gonna have to take a look at that after I end this episode. Yeah, just jump me. online and be like, Sorry. why can't I turn on subtitles? Are you fucking serious? So as far as the story goes, I remember some of it, but I just remember like the overall story. I just did you really need to turn 270 degrees to look at me? A girl in this photograph. Maybe that's why they don't want subtitles to turn on. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. Ah, I got you. You want a piece of this? Freeze. Freeze. Uh, I'm Leon Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, knife. Yes, that's right. The knife is actually probably your best weapon because it just wrecks people in the face. Oh, I've got visitors. Shit is right, Leon. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just went to Dairy Queen. I had no choice but to neutralize her. 
There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. You must have like Whatever orders from Hillary Clinton. Just fucking subject. take Understood. out people left and right. He's not a zombie. Uh, okay, this reloads. There we go. Oh, I thought that there was somebody coming in. Um. Go upstairs, I guess. Hang on. What's in here? They've been killing people. Oh no. Who would do such a thing? Um, hang on, no, thank you. Quickly, on out the window. They did seem to increase the frame rate. I will say that. Much. Ow. Oh, that's right, you can't move and shoot at the same in this game. What the fuck? These guys are everywhere, you fuckers. Wow, I'm a, I am about to die. Uh, okay. That fucking really hurt. I don't know what I did to you guys. I get 1300 pitas. Um, okay. Nothing there. So I'm almost dead. And we're five minutes in. So how about that? Take the bullets. Uh, open up some of these. Ooh, green herb. Thank you. Let's see if we can find a red herb. Um... Okay, triangle opens up my map. How do I open up my inventory? Just my inventory? That's my inventory, okay. Yeah, I always liked uh, this inventory setup where you had the attache case and you had to move stuff around. Alright, let's save. I think there's like an achievement for like only using like three saves throughout the game or something which means you basically need to like spend all day playing the game okay save successful great I did it you did it everybody uh, we can shoot a bird all right any controls are the controls are definitely dead like I said You can feel it. Uh, take that. Ooh, grenade. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you have to shoot the trap. Shoot it again. So it doesn't come in. It doesn't fucking bite me. That's right. Yes, there are bear traps everywhere. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Bombs. Yep, I remember the bombs. The best part about these things is that you can lure the enemies into them. And they are stupid enough to just walk right into them. Which I'm okay with. Oh, someone's coming. Good day, sir! Got you in the dick! Walk up to you. Just knife the shit out of you. Ugh. Trying to remember these controls. It is the worst. Oh wow, someone's stuck in there. Where is person? I heard someone yelling at me. I seize you. Uh, ow, please stop, sir. Uh, let's use that first aid spray. <laughs> We're off to a good start, what do you think? Oh, 
fuck. God damn it. You, Cause just shooting these guys non-stop is a good way to just blow through your ammo. The whole idea is that you're supposed to shoot them in the face, they stagger, and then you run up and, like, punch them. Now, she's not looking good. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. Alright, Leon. Thousand pitas. Ugh. I, I do kind of miss the whole, uh, moving, being able to move and shoot in this game. It was kind of a, uh, a blessing. Gentlemen! I wonder if I can just nade the shit out of you. Oh, they're not coming for me. That's too bad. Alright, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to pause the episode right here before we go any further. We'll pick it up in the next video. My name has been Jorna. That's J-O-A-R-N-A. And I will see you all next time.